Today, I'm going to do a lesson about how the C5 chord is the power chord of the universe. Now, what is a C5 chord? When it says C5 or any 5 in a chord chart, what that is is a root. Every chord has a root, or else it's not a chord, so that's the one. And it's 5. So if we're in C, you take the major scale and take the fifth degree, and that's the 5. That's why they call it, because it's based on the major scale. Okay, major scale. Uh, they call that the perfect fifth. So the chord would be C5. And what that means for you as a chord player is don't play the freaking third. Don't play a major third. Don't play a minor third. Don't play any third at all. That's rock and roll music. That's rock is based on not playing the third, but playing power chords. Sorry, it's on the two. All of rock is based on playing that Sorry, I'm putting my thing away. Playing that power chord and not defining the third. And what that does for the singer is frees them up to hit a third if they want to here or there, define it as major or minor. But the guitar can just keep chugging away. And regardless of major, it's kind of like calling the guitar guy low IQ, right? You're like, I don't even want you to be thinking about major and minor. I just want you to play this, this five chord. Anyway... Uh, so when we call it C5, I think what that does is make us not understand what this chord really is. Why is this chord the chord of the universe? It's insane. And, and I don't think musicians think about this enough. Where does that note come from? We said we call it 5 because of the major scale. The perfect fifth interval. And we don't play a third. Not a major third, not a minor third. Okay? So what we have here is... The one and the five in the C major scale. But where does this come from? This comes from the harmonic series. And what the harmonic series is, is a, is a naturally occurring phenomenon inside of any single acoustic note. So let me make my little pompous definition of the harmonic series here, and I'll read it to you. Uh, so you're going to understand where this power chord actually comes from. Calling it C5 is straight up incorrect for our brains. Uh, th there's a number that creates this harmony. And let me let me, before I dive into that... Let me show you how important this harmony is. You cannot have a consonant chord without that interval. It is it's other than the octave. See, an octave defines, you know, if you go from one around the circle to two or one to two, and everything else is inside of that octave. These are all harmonics. Um, what you essentially have is the, the octave is the most important interval because it defines... You need to think about this music. It defines the, the boundary of the entire musical universe. Everything after that will be somewhere inside of that octave, right? So there's no more important idea than an octave because it's the same note. It's where everything starts over again on the circle. If this is one on the circle, the two before any other note would be created would be right here and, and just an octave. So... There's this thing called the harmonic series, which is inside of every musical tone hit by every musical instrument. So let me read you my pompous definition here. The musical harmonic series is a naturally occurring sequence of incrementally higher sine wave overtones that vibrate at whole number multiples and resonate covertly within any single note played on an acoustic pitch producing instrument. From the harmonic series, we derive the primary elements of music, harmony, rhythm, and timbre. All musical principles and harmonic possibilities originate from this acoustic phenomenon which is preordained by nature and impervious to the fickle whims and opinions of humans. So basically the harmonic series is law in music and it literally creates every harmony and every rule we know. The problem is we have a system of music that's taken that major scale and basically called it God by saying everything we're going to name is based on that major scale. So major scale is absolutely not primary. I can't get into all of that right now. It is secondary. It is, a, it is an effect. It's not a cause. And when in science you invert a cause and effect, you come up with an error. That's, that's what happens. So the cause of everything in music is a harmonic series. If this is new to you, Pause right here. Go look this up. There, there are laws present in music that were known by the ancients. Pythagoras taught these in his school. Most musicians know nothing about the harmonic series. So what I'm getting at here is the numbers of the harmonic series are literally divisions of the string. So if you, if you play an open string, not only is this open note ringing out, let's say that's C, you get an octave ringing out, which is that harmonic at the halfway point demonstrate on the guitar um, there's your open string and, the, and halfway there's this harmonic right there it's not a little bit it's exactly halfway it 
divides the string into two. And then finally you get to this third division and there's more than that. It goes on infinitely inside of every single note played is actually all of these notes. Look it up. It's true. Not all of them are very loud. Some of them not at all. But these notes are all there. And this power chord of the universe that we call a C5 is actually created by, here's C, and you can even see we have regular notes up here too, is actually created by the third harmonic. So, so third, dividing a string in three creates the interval that in Western music we call the perfect fifth. And I'm sorry to say that is just the wrong name for it because musicians think five, five, five when they hear that, but it's actually three. It's light. You cannot have a consonant harmony if you change this note in any way. So let me show you what that means. Let's do a major chord. I'm going to alter this by going down. Definitely not consonant. I'm going to alter this by going up. Not consonant. So in all of musical harmony and everything that we know, if that perfect fifth interval gets altered in any way, you have a dissonance. So it, the primary law of the universe is that octave. But the next most important one in the guiding light is that Pythagorean third or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it's the interval we call a perfect fifth that's created by literally the division of a string by three. This is not an arbitrary three. This is what the number three means is this interval. So like I said, that's the whole lesson is, is that power chord of the universe, which does not define major and does not define minor and it is the basis of rock and roll and a lot of other music is actually the third harmonic at work, which is the most important interval outside of the octave because the octave had defined the entire boundary of the universe, like I said. So the third harmonic creates the interval we call the perfect fifth. And this would be the way it would be voiced in the harmonic series because when you play a note, you get this first harmonic, which is the note you think you hear. The next most powerful one ringing out is the octave. And that's up here. And then finally, the third harmonic would be, you know, an octave above this. This is all contained in one octave here in this chart. Uh, if you join my conservatory, High Castle Conservatory on Patreon, you'll get this chart and hundreds of others like it and teach you some really cool and weird and not lesser known stuff about music. So that's how it would be voiced in the harmonic series. So the power chord would not actually be that one like on the... You know, like on a guitar, the two notes, uh, the real power chord of the universe would be an octave and then that perfect fifth on top, which is actually the third harmonic. Come learn more on my conservatory on Patreon, High Castle Conservatory, about this harmonic series, which create all of the underlying laws of harmony that we use, even though we don't necessarily know how they correlate. So that's the lesson for now. Thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe below, uh, leave a comment and the notification bell.